side investigation, dangerous intersections. We have got the data and we can pinpoint the places in Northeast Ohio where you're most likely to get into an accident. News Channel 5's Megan Hickey with the answers and what can be done to make those spots safer. Independence driver Mike Alonzo is still trying to piece together how his everyday commute ended like this, dangling by his seatbelt alongside his eight year old son. So I look over and he's hanging upside down. And he's like, what happened? I'm like, we were in an accident. According to police reports we reviewed, Alonzo's accident happened at this intersection, Rockside Road and Summit Park Drive in August of 2014. Apparently the car that was turning left on the Summit Park did not realize that I didn't have to stop. And he's not alone. News Channel 5 found Alonzo's story in this stack of accident reports. All of them are from Rockside Road in 2014. According to Ohio State Highway Patrol data obtained by News Channel 5, Rockside and Summit Park had 19 injury crashes in 2014, and nearby Rockside and I-77 had 14, putting them at the top of the list for injury crashes in all of Cuyahoga County. News Channel 5 wanted to know why. Independence police told me the intersections were built to handle the 60,000 cars that roll by every day. There was no predicting how successful this area w was going to become. Um, so it was a matter of the area outgrowing the ramp, and that's something we're, we're playing catch up with now. Chief Kilbane explained to me accidents like Alonzo's prompted the city to install a protected left turn signal, and now there are plans to widen entrance and exit ramps. He said the intersections aren't dangerous, but News Channel 5 wanted a second opinion. We brought in engineer Norbert DeLott from Cleveland State University, and he pointed out two trouble spots, backups turning onto Rockside, and trying to enter 77. If you actually back up on an interstate, you've got one lane where you've got traffic going at interstate speed next to stop traffic. Those differences in speed can be extremely dangerous. It's not ideal, um, but it's also a very difficult thing to, to fix. Next, a lot took a look at Carnegie and 55th, Cleveland's highest injury intersection in 2014. He explained to me the sheer volume of cars and speeding are the likely culprits there. I don't see anything that makes it dangerous. Summit County has its own high crash intersections. State Road 91 and Graham Road and State Road 261 and Britton Road both saw 11 injury crashes in 2014. DeLott reviewed traffic flows at both intersections and told me there are no glaring issues with layout or signal timing. Uh, it could simply just come down to, to traffic volume. So who's to blame, the drivers or the roads? DeLott said there are opportunities for improvement in independence, but overall, driver error is the biggest factor, a thought echoed by drivers like Alonzo. Again, it's, it's responsibility of the people involved. Megan Hickey, News Channel 5.